You might have seen the previous video where we installed a couple of performance devices to this particular bike. This is a 2016 R1200 GS BMW. What we installed was a sprint filter and a power module which affects the fuel, it's simply a plug and play device made by an Italian company called Jet Prime. And the device is called a Memjet Evo. Uh, it simply has a scale of 0 out of 10 where you can, once you've plugged it in, you can just crank it up to, you to um, cause it to affect the fuel mixture and wind it back to zero and it would go back to standard factory settings. Now, we did a couple of things. We did a road test and we also did a dyno test. Um, the configuration that we road tested and dyno tested this particular bike was this. We've got the sprint filter, as I said. It's the P037 variant, which is the dual purpose air filter designed for adventure bikes. It's a waterproof filter that allows for greater airflow through the motor and um, it is the type of filter that you can apply, you can ride in dusty and muddy conditions. So it was designed specifically for this type of bike. We've got the Memjet Evo power module plugged in, and we've also got the SC Project Adventure muffler with the baffles removed. Now, from the catalytic converter forward, the exhaust system is standard. So other than that, it's a standard triple black BMW. Now, for the road test. When we did the road test, we uh, rode this in the mountains, uh, up in North Queensland, uh, in the northern part of Australia. And the conditions were closer to winter, so it was reasonably cool, so it was in the 8 to 15 degree range. And the range we rode on has got 263 bends. And so it gives us an opportunity to test the bike uphill, downhill, under high speed, under hard acceleration type conditions, and get a feel for you know exactly what different, different settings make with the Memjet Evo. And what I found is the, the bike definitely has more mid-range and has a much smoother, power delivery through uh, you know, the earlier part of the rev range. So up and down, I was quite impressed with the performance of it at a setting of five. Um, I don't think we gained anything by turning it up to 10, and that was definitely, uh, a, like I said, a better mid-range mid power delivery at five setting than what is at zero, which is the factory setting. To kind of confirm what power impact the, uh, the, this configuration actually had on the bike, we took the bike to a dyno testing area and had it tested on a dyno that produces true dynamometer figure, uh, figures. It's not the Dynajet type inflated figures, and uh, the figures we got was a maximum horsepower rating of 104.7 horsepower at the rear wheel. So I think the factory standard, you know, it's factory figures for the motor is 125 horsepower motor. So not a bad performance at the rear wheel of this, this shaft driven motorcycle. Now, a couple of things we noticed. When we did the dyno testing, it was over 40 degrees. So it was 41 or 42 degrees. Uh, it was extremely humid, and when we did the testing, we, as we turned up the Memjet Evo to increase the uh, impact of the device on the fuel mixture, then what we found was a 1 to 2 horsepower decrease, because the way that this interacts with the air temperature sensor and the way that it affects the fuel delivery, it was creating a situation where it was over-rich um, under those extremely hot conditions. Now, when we took the bike and put it in the cooler conditions, we definitely got an impact in uh, a performance improvement. And that was based on the right of field. So it felt much smoother, it felt cleaner, it felt crisper in the mid-range. And my conclusions from it would be this. In cooler conditions, so if you're riding up to, I guess, around about 30 degrees at the most, then the Memjet Evo is definitely going to impact the performance of the bike, particularly in the low to mid-range and uh, the smoothness of the power delivery. But as soon as you start to get in really hot, uh, humid conditions, then the impact becomes negative. So if I was riding this bike in, let's say, the Australian Safari, you know, the BMW Australian Safari, uh, in northern Queensland in summer, I'd be leaving it at zero. But if I was riding this down south around Tasmania or in the cooler climates or up in the mountains, then I would turn it up to the setting that I found gave the best impact, which was five. Um, pretty happy with the device, and I'm going to leave it on there. And uh, the combination of SC Project exhaust Sprint Filter and Memjet Evo, it's a pretty good package, so there you have it.